Now is the perfect time to take a stroll through the Key West Tropical Forest and Botanical Garden. This is the perfect way to spend the afternoon with family and friends. This one-of-a-kind forest and garden, it's filled with beautiful butterflies, plants, flowers, and just so much more. Misha and Heidi, thank you for being with me on the show today. Thank you for and having us. Thank you. It's great when you guys come on the show because we get such beautiful pictures in the background, too, because your place is so beautiful. Let's talk about the mission of the Key West Botanical Garden. Certainly. The mission of the Botanical Garden is to protect, enhance, and educate the public about the importance of native plants and species of the Keys in the Caribbean Basin. Okay. And now, Heidi, you are the manager of the Education Department. How would you say that the Education Department has helped with this mission? Excellent. We provide programming for students pre-kindergarten through high school, mm -hmm. and we provide hands-on lessons for students of Monroe County to come out to the garden to explore and to discover the importance of our habitat, our natural environment, and for them to really realize this importance and make a connection and want to come out to the garden continually. Okay. And now you guys are always busy. Year-round you're busy. You offer so many different programs and everything. Let's talk about some of the stuff you have going on. Um, certainly. It's, uh, the mission that's not written in the mission statement is a community venue. We really want to be a community center. Uh, within that, through our health and wellness, we offer the yoga and we offer the, the meditation. Uh, we do uh, workshops throughout the year teaching the importance of and the means of um, plants and the uh, animals that live in the Keys with keynote speakers. And then don't forget, we have a number of uh, fundraising options that we do here where the public sit the community supports the garden, so that's mm -hmm. why it should be a community center. Now, is that how you raise money, Misha, through the fundraisers that you offer? Uh, yes, that's very important to bring up. Thank you, Jenna. We are 501c3, which means we're not supported uh, by the, uh, the city, the county, the state, or the federal government. Mm -hmm. uh, the whole process is really done with Heidi's help in, in our, our limited staff, but with the number of volunteers that we have through admissions through the front gate, through donations and grants that we can get. Mm -hmm. That's our sustainability. Okay, and why do you feel that this is so important to the community, the tropical forest and garden, Misha? Um, I personally feel that um, um, nature is a barometer to human health. If our, if our environment is, is bad and the water's bad and the air's bad and everything, that means we're not going to be healthy either. There's the historical part about it is to preserve and educate what was. And uh, for a person that's been in love with the Keys for over 25 years myself, I remember more of what was than what is. Mm -hmm. And you'll find at the Botanical Garden, we really are the last vestige of green left mm -hmm. on what the Keys should look like. Okay. I want to ask both of you what your favorite part is at the forest and the garden. Like, is it the plants? Is it the butterflies? What's your favorite? I think if you put it all together, my favorite uh, would be the people the people mm -hmm. because they bring in their heart they bring in the passion I'm very fortunate to work with our volunteers that are all committed all understand and feel the same way maybe not about the same thing but about the overall and through that comes the uh, the heart to generosity and that's what the botanical garden is about mm -hmm. Heidi for me it's the plants being able to be surrounded by nature in this little island, this chain of islands we have, it's one area that you can go and escape from everything. You're not surrounded by people, you're not surrounded by buildings. It's a place where you can really relax and become mm -hmm. one with mm -hmm. nature. Mm -hmm. Very calm. Very Spiritual. Calm mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, if people want to volunteer with the Botanical Gardens, can they do that? Certainly. I invite you to, uh, to just call our office. Mm -hmm. We're at 305-296-1504 or email me direct at kwbgs at kwbgs.org. Great, and our, our viewers can see all of that information right now on the bottom of the screen. Do you have any big event coming up that you, we need to let people know about? We have our annual plant sale coming up in December, okay. December 8th and 9th. We bring vendors from the mainland down. We join in with local vendors here that sell their uh, plants, uh, their artwork, and this year we're going to have a green market which will oh. be a lot of fun. Oh, that sounds exciting. We'll definitely have you back on before then to talk more about Thank that. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank mm -hmm. you both for being on this morning. Thank you. <laughs> All right, that's going to do it for me today, everyone. I thank you for tuning in this morning. Hopefully you have a great weekend, and you can join me back here Tuesday morning at 7 a.m. and 8.30 a.m. Take care and have a great rest of your day.